Hey guys, you want to see what this crazy contraption turned into? Whoa. Stay tuned. We're going to get to that. Hey everybody, been going a while, but I want to show you something. This is a Power Queen battery box. And I'm going to be showing you how I'm using it to collect rainwater off of a 1,070 square foot roof, roof space. Our buildings out here is over 6,800 square feet, so you can just imagine. We've had 2.12 inches of rain at this exact moment. And let's get over here, I'm gonna show you this first, and then we'll go to the video. This is the overflow system working. And I'm gonna show you the clip that I filmed beforehand. The tanks are filled within limit. There's a uh, uh, one inch lift in that lid. And this is designed to allow full capacity with an upflow overflow system. So let's go take a look. Um, I wanted to show you guys these IBC containers. There's four of them in here, 265 gallon, um, we are setting these up to where they're running at about 255 to 60 because I have my own design of overflow prevention. And this is our setup. So uh, we do not have an overflow built into the top of the tanks. This is a rise to overflow design. And you can see the tanks right there. There's the water level in them. Um, I'm going to get over here and show you this right quick. This is a mess out here. So... Um, these are going to be in, enclosed, has a roof over the top of it, and there's solar over the top of this. But these are my tank designs, and this is using the two-inch rubber grommet seals. And I use a goop, believe it or not, plumbing glue or plumbing sealant around those. I've been doing that for about 15 years, and this is our setup. So we have over here, we have our chlorine emitter or uh, admitters where you can add chlorine to each one of the tanks right there and that's using a street you see that this is so that these pieces can be taken out and cleaned you see they have no hub couplings on them now there's no pressure in this and you're going to love how i've designed this to collect the water this is cool so right now we've just uh, ran one cycle through these and emptied it and you can hear like i said the rain coming down there's a pipe down here where we're going to be sending that water. This um, little over 1,000 gallons over to our other tank after it goes to treatment. I'll show you that in a second. But here we go. Here's the tanks. These are Schutz tanks. Brand new. Um, we got these things. They're one trip only. Had fractionated coconut oil in them. But we'll show you here. Let's see here. I'll take the top off. And I've got these on fairly well. But you'll be able to see the water. I think. <laughs> coming in. Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to drop this inside. See that coming in? Alright. Now that's times four. And all the tanks are auto-balanced against each other. Listen to that rain. I hope that's not too loud. And uh, there's that seal. Using a Street 90. Now, it's all standard plumbing fittings up here. And down here, even though the pressure is only going to be about 7 to 10 pounds max, I'm using full pressure fittings. And there you go. There's that brand right there, Schutz. And we have... Uh, so far, all, all the tanks look to be doing just fine. So, and I have one union so I can take it apart if I have to replace a tank. And I've made sure everything is spaced far enough to put a high pressure fitting in the middle of that if it has a problem. So you wanna make sure you do that. That's big enough for a full fitting in there. So of course, purple primer on everything and had to use some reuse, reused parts. But this, this design is, you see that? Just at the top 
three to four percent of the tank. So when the tank fills all the way up, let's get over here. And then of course right over here I have a uh, test area that we can test the water that's in the tanks. It'll be running through a an 80 and a 200, I still got glue and stuff on me, a, a 200 uh, mesh filter to remove all the trash and then it goes through a 5 micron pleated filter and is pumped over to the other tanks via that pipe in the ground. So, a lot of pipe fittings, um, the well casing there. All right, so here's the cool part. I'm going to walk out here in the rain and get wet. Hold the hand over this. It's a power queen, guys. <laughs> so you can see here, this is this is the clean out. Now, that's a flush fit that goes up in here, a flush fit fitting. So let me show you that. I'll turn it on. That's water coming out. There's the water going in. It was so much rain that little four by two would not handle it so i popped another hole in there and that's what that looks like in there so here's all the plumbing the same thing i didn't have enough of these so this is silt clean out so this design is a silt clean out the silt will go into here heavy metals other things will go into here if, if any get in here we are three quarters of an inch at flood stage above this and I'm going to show you what's in here on the end of these pipes. I'll have to pull one out. I'm going to show you from a box because I don't want to open this. But it's got a few screws and it holds it tight. It has in the bottom, you see this thing? That is a, picked it up on Tingle for like four bucks. And it is a, um, I think it's a 24 mesh. And then, of course, on top of it, it has got a 40 mesh, uh, multiple layered stainless steel screen or aluminum screen, whatever it was. Now, over here is my overflow. This is the overflow design. Goes into a gutter right now once the tanks are full and they haven't got there yet. So there's that. Oh, there you go. And that's just, I just used ABS because it's just waste. It's not, don't worry, it's not connected to the potable water system. And then here again is those emitters and our admitters. And we just use the caps, the original caps, because they're they are the standard two inch pipe thread and put them on there. So using the street tee on this made it a lot easier when we decide to pull this loose. If we have to clean this line or do something to it or move things, made it easier to modify. Okay. Now, eventually that gutter over there will dump into two of these barrels that my daughter can use for her garden. But otherwise, this is a pretty simple build. Off the roof area that we're on is a uh, 16 by 46 plus a 12 by 28. So you do the square footage on that. And it will quickly fill these because we had these on the ground and it was filling them up fast and I just had it with gutters and you know shoots going off on them and in a good two inches worth of rain would fill all of these tanks every one of them and that was with a lot of waste shooting past instead of going in so what do you guys think about that nice little water system we have another setup like this on the back of the building I got roosters crowing like hell um, and not too hard to do you don't need a whole lot of fall you know you don't want that but not too hard to do this whole system probably cost me about 750 bucks to build this and that power queen battery case was the icing on the cake but you guys come back we're gonna do some water pumping and filtering videos on this it wasn't hard to do a little time consuming, but wasn't hard to do. And I'm trying to get back into some videos because I had to go through a physical therapy for a neck injury. Today, even though it's a, I think a holiday, September 2nd or something, um, I can't go in, but tomorrow I am free and clear of that crap. And we'll be getting back into my action. Hope you guys like that. Kind of a cool build, huh? Not too complicated, not too hard to do. Easy. Save your rainwater. They're getting crazy with utility costs. 
and our water well is not high production, so this is a real boon for us. All right, y'all got to subscribe. If you haven't, go check out the other videos on DIY stuff. We'll see you on the rerun.